Hey everybody, Camille Stone here with Written in Stone, life coach and published author of the book titled This Woman's Worth. So I want to talk to you today about hanging in there and what that has truly meant for me. I know that I have went through so many times in my life where hanging in there seemed like it was impossible to do. It was hard and I just felt like I wanted to quit. I wanted to give up and just not do this anymore. I want to go back to just doing what was safe and comfortable and just barely getting by because man, getting outside of your comfort zone and hanging in there and just believing that it's all going to work out is sometimes really, really hard. So I want to share with you, I can remember a time when I could not even stand up in front of family members and talk about anything without feeling like I was going to pass out. And I am going to try really hard to locate these pictures, but there are actually pictures of me. And you can almost see in the pictures, just before we had really cool digital stuff and could, you know, do videos that quick and show all this great detail and everything. But there are pictures of me and you can almost see in the pictures, I just look distraught and you can tell that like collapse of, from fainting is just moments away. Just trying to stand up and speak in front of people I had grew up with and known my entire life. And then I can remember a time when I, you know, I decided I was going to be bold and accept a speaking engagement. I had no idea how to speak publicly. I took the, um, I took the uh, invitation to speak anyway for like 40 plus business women, something like that. And I sucked really, really bad. It was awful. And fast forward to today and everything that I have gone through to get to the point to where it's not difficult to speak in front of people anymore. It's not hard. It's not scary. And I really just had to hang in there. Um, I can also remember a time when my youngest little boy was born. He's four years old now, and that hasn't been that long ago. But I was struggling very, very badly. And, you know, I, I look at, well, that hasn't been that long ago, but some amazing things have occurred in my life over the last four years just from the process of hanging in there and sticking with the process. But it was not easy. There was nothing easy about it. I had to get out of my comfort zone. I had to do things that were scary, do things that were hard, do things that were not a typical thing for Camille to do in order to get to where I am today. So I know that there is someone out there that needs that encouragement today of just hang in there. When you become intentional about something that you want and you start the process of getting there, some days it will feel like nothing's happening. And this may go on for days, it may go on for weeks, it may go on for a couple of months. I don't know, it's different for everybody. But just know that everything that you're going through is part of the process and just trust the process. Now back to when my little boy was, he was born and I was making about eight to $1,200 a month and I had a car payment, just my car payment alone was you know, nearly $400 a month and you do the math, how much money does that leave left over? There was a time when I needed tires on my car and I was having to air them up. They were in such bad shape. I didn't even have quarters to put in, a, in the air mach machine to put air in my tires. I had to drive a little further to my grandfather's house and have him air my tires up to now getting to the point to where I can speak publicly and I do so. I can speak on camera and I obviously do so. I can, I, I make, my finances have completely turned around. My credit has turned around. All those things that I was struggling with, but man, it seemed like such a process, but this has been a longer process than just since my son was born. I have been in the process of working on me and just trying to hang in there and figure everything out for a really long time. But when I look back now, some of those hardships and those things that I struggle with, it's funny now, I can laugh about it. And some of those times, my children and I talk about some of those times were the best memories that we ever had. When we scratched up change to just get something to eat at McDonald's, for heaven's sakes. Um, it, or we, you know, spent the evening, we would dig up the money to rent one DVD when Blockbuster was still around. We would scratch up the money to rent like one DVD 
and watch that same movie two or three times as long as we can stay awake that evening. So there's a lot of fond memories and the hardships that we faced. And it seemed really tough at the time, but now I look back and I realize, oh my gosh, it was just a part of the process. And I look at some of the hardest things that I went through, like speaking in front of those women at that meeting where I accepted the invitation to speak and I didn't know how to speak publicly. I had no idea what I was doing. And I look at what I learned from that and the growth that occurred within me because I jumped out there and I did it. And it sucked really bad at the time, but now I'm so grateful that I went through the process and experienced all that stuff and got out of my comfort zone and sucked really bad. I'm so grateful that I did those things, but it is not easy. So that's what I want you to get from this today is just hang in there because I can promise you every hardship that you're facing, there is a reason for it. It is a part of the process, it's a part of your journey, and there you are growing in some way. And if you continue to have the same hardships over and over again, then you're not getting the lesson. For goodness sakes, learn whatever you need from it and move on past it, okay? And don't forget, oh my gosh, don't forget, get out of your comfort zone. You cannot expect to have something different or something you're really striving for if you're doing the same things that you did yesterday or you did last year. So is it hard? It is hard, but anything, anything worth having, it's worth the struggle. It's worth looking dumb. It's worth the failures. It's worth, you know, getting out of your comfort zone. It's, it's worth feeling bad and going through stuff. It's worth it. It is so worth it. So just remember that it is all a part of your process. It is a part of your journey. So just stick with it. Keep goal setting, keep doing new things, keep figuring things out, keep finding new mentors that can help you along your path, keep put, uh, distancing yourself from those people that are trying hard to keep you down and don't want you to succeed or maybe they're trying to protect you from rejection. Those that love us, they, they think that they're doing a good thing for us by protecting us from certain things. Just hang in there, stick with it. Again, I'd like to always invite you to connect with me. Um, you can email me at empower at camillestone.org or you can connect with me via my website at camillestone.org or on Instagram or Facebook at Camille Stone W-I-S. The W-I-S obviously stands for Written in Stone. I would love to connect with you further and help you along your journey. Um, I know that uh, I mentioned in a previous video, I have released the exclusive, the Live Out Loud exclusive program. It is now open to the public and you can find that on my website on the Live Out Loud tab. I would love to connect with you further and help you along on your journey. And if there's anything I can do for you, please, please, please connect with me, contact me. I read every email, every message, and I do respond. So please connect with me if you would like to um, engage with me further. And so there's your message. I want you to hang in there, stick with it, trust the process. It's going to be okay. You're going to get there. You're going to do all the things that you want to do, but you've got to stick with it. You've got to be tenacious, okay? Thank you so much for tuning in today, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.